Rob, what was said here tonight won't affect the city's plans to move forward and build that base camp, though leaders haven't said when that will start being built. But an alderman from the neighboring ward said he wanted the community's voices to be heard because many of them are furious about the entire process. No game in Brighton Park. No game in Brighton Park. No Their protest chants are going unanswered. Mayor of Chicago, this is stupid. The ink is already dry on a contract to build a base camp for migrants in Chicago's Brighton Park neighborhood. $90,000 a month in rent will be given for that location to house nearly 2,000 migrants at 38th and California. We ain't got that kind of money. And when you know your budget is running out, how can you keep just saying accept, accept, accept? Last week, a group from the Southwest Side community filed a lawsuit trying to halt the base camp over environmental concerns. The community already has concerns about all of the traffic kicking up dust and debris into the atmosphere for the residents who already live there, let alone the ones who are going to be there. Today, the mayor says the results of an environmental assessment on the controversial plot of land aren't out yet. Bulldozers and work crews have been active there now for weeks. Look, I have to take steps and make decisions um, in preparation for what we have to do. On Tuesday, the city council also approved buying land for a second winterized tent location for asylum seekers at 115th and South Halstead. As plans for both campsites trudge forward, there are voices begging Chicagoans for compassion. They won't be here forever, and if something happens, we have Chicago Police Department. We have resources that will um, uphold the law. Tonight, thousands of asylum seekers are still sleeping in and outside of Chicago police stations, but a group from this Brighton Park community has another protest planned at the site on Friday. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.